Welcome back to our Ag Expert Accounting tutorial series. Today, we'll be chatting about how to set up your chart of accounts. If you're willing to set up books with information coming from a different book record keeping system, you will need to have the trial balance and the balance sheet from the last date of the past fiscal year handy, as this will provide the required financial information. Log into your account Select Chart of Accounts in the Navigation column. The Chart of Accounts in Ag Expert Accounting is organized in five categories. Assets, Liabilities, Equity, Income, and Expenses. Ag Expert Account numbers are made of four digits that range from 1000 to 5999. In each category, you'll find different account types. In the asset category, there is bank account. These accounts will show from the list of account to deposit into, withdraw from when recording transactions. Asset accounts is the second type. Third type is the inventory accounts. And you also will find a fourth type, which is the capital asset accounts. In the liability category, the types are credit card accounts. These will also show on your transaction screen, loan accounts, and liability accounts. If your business is a sole proprietorship, or partnership, you will need these three types in your equity section, personal drawing accounts, personal advance accounts, and equity accounts. The income account category will include income accounts as well as inventory adjustment account types. The expense category is the only one to have a single type. Now, to add an account, you have to determine if the account is to be part of a group or not. Group accounts will provide the total balance in all sub-accounts created under them. As an example, I'll add a new bank account in my books. I'll click on Add an Asset Account. In my chart of accounts, I see some available numbers between 1110 and 1120. So I can pick any number in that range. Let's use number 1115 and name it US Bank Savings. I'll change the type to bank account and save. Now, if I have taken accounts in different uh, financial institutions, I can group them all under one single account. Again, I'll click on Add an Asset Account, but this time I'll need to toggle the bar to the right. Under Group, I'll click Add a New Group Account, because this is the first time I create this group account. If by accident I uh, end up picking an account that uh, was used before, the system will give me a warning. Account 1110 has already been used, so I'll choose another account. Let's use account 1116 instead. I'll name this account Other Checking Accounts. I'll change the type to Bank Accounts. You can see this little number one, which means this is my very first sub account under this grouping. I'll name the account TD account because it's my TD checking account. The group account has now been created. I can now easily create a second sub account. This account is part of a group 
Under group, I'll select account number 1116. And the system will automatically create account number two. Let's name this account as RBC account and save. Now, as you can see, I have two sub accounts under group account 1116. Let's proceed with adding balances in these accounts as per our bank statements. I had an opening balance of 10,000 in my TD account and 15,000 in account 1116, my RBC account. Once these balances are saved, the system will add up the amounts in my sub accounts and I can see a total of $25,000 up here. Grouped account totals are highlighted in a light blue color to differentiate them from other accounts that are on their own. The main total accounts in each category are highlighted in a dark blue greenish color. In this case, I'm talking about the current asset accounts, which groups all the current asset account totals. Now, these were easy accounts to set up. Some accounts do require more details though. I'll give an example here. I've recently purchased some uh, livestock, some sheep. So I need to add my sheep inventory account. I click add an asset account and I'll use this time account number 1405. I change the type of the account to inventory and the units to head. And since I'm part of the agri stability program, I'll set the commodity type to livestock. I also need to set my inventory adjustment account accordingly to account number 496001. Once this is set up, I can now save my new account. I'll also need to track all my expenses related to the purchase of my sheep. Under the expense category, I'll click add an expense account. This is a simple account that's not part of a group. So I'll pick account number 5165 and name it sheep expenses. The agreed stability code for this expense will be 723 sheep lamb. If I needed to fill out form T2042 instead, I would select account 9474. The unit value was $120 per sheep and the inventory unit needs to be set to head. In my case, I didn't pay any GST or PST, but if I had to pay any sheep expenses that had GST on them or PST, I have to toggle the bars to the right. Once this is all set up, I'll save my expense account and I'm done. Income accounts will be set up in a similar way. New accounts can always be added on the fly as needed when you enter new transactions. This is the end of our tutorial. I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.